नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव सीन ए डी पी एल वन थ्री सिक्स जीरो टू डाटा सीट दिस इज ए स्विचिंग रेगुलेटर व्हिच हैज यू नो लाइक टू पॉइंट फाइव एमपीयर और टू पॉइंट फोर एमपीयर ऑफ आउटपुट करंट कैपेबिलिटीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर आई सी डाटा सीट एंड वॉट आर द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी नीडेड फॉर आवर डिजाइन लेट अस से विसा जस्ट नाउ दिस कैन बी यूटिलाइज फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड पावर सप्लाई इंडस्ट्रियल सप्लाईज it is not applicable for actually automotive so let me just remove this as you can see here industrial automotive uh, industrial control power supply distributed power supply transformer regulations or high voltage single board systems and all those things okay and we have already identified the information about how to select the v input v output inductor selections feedback resistor divider you know like design and input capacitor output capacitors and software soft start capacitors and all okay now what we'll do is we'll try to move directly into the uh, application design implementation okay so let us say we have to design a 12 volt to 5 volt system with 2.4 amperes output current or let's say 2 ampere output current something like that okay so the thing that we have to take care of is let us say this is the particular application that is given in the data set itself okay data set also provides around 2 3 applications for different functionalities you know or different output voltage levels and this is the best way to understand what are the different values of you know like capacitors or the inductors or the resistor dividers that we can utilize now what we will try to understand is we will try to utilize all the equations that we have learned in this data sheet and we'll calculate all these values on our own one by one okay so very first thing is let us say we talk about input capacitor so as i told you uh, let me just specify here that i'm going to design a 12 volt system uh, from a 12 volt to 5 volt output with let's say 2 ampere rating okay let's say here it is 2.4 but you can specify let us say 2 ampere rating okay so what we need we need c input capacitor so simil similarly in the previous videos i have told you let uh, like try to give minimum 2 bulk capacitor plus 1.1 microfarad capacitor so this is a good method 0.1 microfarad and let us say you keep it uh, 10 microfarad two times okay so this will be a good idea to proceed with your design that will be your v input understood similar to that v output uh, there will be a capacitor that is required here it is given as c4 so c4 along with c4 what you can do is put one more or you know like uh, like this this will be your 5 volt uh, 5 volt and this will be let us say to one more 22 microfarad plus 0.1 microfarad because the data set actually provides you the minimum capacitor that is needed however this is always recommended to have little bit higher capacitor value so that you don't run up into a transient you know like problems or uh, high ripple voltage in the output as well as in the inputs okay so input capacitor and output capacitor is done anyway we can do one thing is we can go ahead with uh, the calculation circuit and we'll try to specify each and every values of this particular value so let's open an excel sheet and what i have done is i have calculated each and every parameters for you from the data sheet that is given so let us say we set the output voltage to 5 volt okay and as i told you that uh, in the in the data sheet itself it was told like if rt pin is left to be open then the default frequency of working will be 500 kilohertz so you don't have to attach any of the uh, you know like uh, rt pin resistor okay now let us say if you want to calculate uh, work with uh, 700 kilohertz then your rt pin value will go ahead with 22 28 kilo ohm okay so you have to attach a 28 kilo ohm or closer to that value of resistor okay so there are three values that is given here for 400 kilo ohm uh, 400 kilohertz 51.1 kilo ohm is required for 1500 kilohertz that will be 12.7 kilo ohm requirement okay so let's uh, keep it 500 itself like i don't want to change it and we don't have to connect any of the uh, uh, rt pin uh, resistor we can keep it open okay now moving back uh, how to calculate the output capacitor value so output capacitor value you can calculate it very easily okay 
in that case we have to specify what is my maximum current capability so maximum current let us say we are going to design it for 2 ampere so if you put 2 ampere then time response will come up with this one which is going to be 0.33 divided by fc so fc is nothing but uh, 1 by 9th times of your switching frequency that is actually a frequency crossover frequency okay so this uh, crossover frequency will be 1 by 9th time of that that is uh, 500 kilohertz divided by 9 okay so that is coming up around 55 kilohertz and in that case the response time of this particular IC is coming to be closer to 6 microsecond understood now there is a step current which is called as 40% uh, of your maximum load so that will be 0.8 ampere of 2 ampere so 2 ampere 40% of that will be 0.8 amperes understood and how much ripple voltage that you are going to allow at the output so let us say we are going to have accuracy of 3% at the output then you can have 0.15 volt that is 150 millivolt if you want you can have 1% also so that will be very very closer so in that case c out will increase a little bit but uh, we'll just keep it uh, you know like uh, 0.15 that is 3% of output so in that case the c out will be calculated as 1 by 2 that is half times of i step multiplied by t response divided by delta v out that is your ripple voltage and you are seeing that it is going to come up as 20 microfarad so the thing is you have to make sure your capacitance output should be more than 20 microfarad okay so that's the reason i am telling you keep a capacitance of 22 plus 22 plus 0.1 so that you have a you know like flexibility of increasing the output capacitance value okay now coming back to the voltage rating of output capacitor so as i already told you 0.1 microfarad you can always keep it a 50 volt ratings and rest 22 microfarad and all you can keep it let's say 16 volt rating or 25 volt rating which will be a little bit lower cost if you want to increase the cost you can go ahead with 35 volt as well okay good so we have done with the output capacitors now coming back to the other part what is the inductor value that we should choose so inductor value you ca we can choose by uh, using this particular formula which is going to be 1.5 times of v output divided by fsw so fsw is used 500 kilohertz and in that case we are going to uh, calculate this particular value to be 15 micro henry so we can utilize 15 micro henry as you can see i'll just change this switching frequency to let us say uh, 600 kilohertz then the inductor value will change to little bit higher value so you can see uh, no sorry it, it will change to little bit lower value because frequency of operation is increasing that is switching frequency is increasing it means L value will decrease okay that's the understanding understood so let's keep it 500 and we will utilize 15 micro henry of the capacitor so that is also done now coming back to the next part which is going to be uh, you know like uh, feedback resistors and all let's uh, let's see what is the next calculation yeah soft start timing we want to set it okay so soft start timing for that we have to first set what is the uh, css time okay so css minimum can be calculated from this like your c select and v out so v output vol voltage is 5 volt and selected output capacitor you have to understand that whatever the value that you have selected that much you have to write down and your css must be more than that that is first step and another step is for required time you can put your uh, you know like a specified css accordingly required time will be calculated okay so let's see css minimum is calculated as uh, you know like uh, uh, how much it is uh, 0 0.0028 microsecond that is 2 nanosecond 2.8 nanosecond okay so uh, coming back to uh, let let me just tell you this is was c, c out was calculated which was 20 that has been used here now let's say uh, we want to set the uh, you know like uh, tss time that is your soft start time as 2.2 millisecond then we have to connect one css capacitor which will be 18 nano farad okay so if you convert this to nano i'll just multiply this with thousand so it will be nano farad okay <coughs> so we have for 2.2 millisecond of uh, uh, soft start time we have to connect 18 nano farad or more so we will connect it 22 nano farad okay 
so what we'll do is my CSS capacitor will come up as uh, here it is 6.8 nanofarad so just remove that and put it 22 nanofarad okay this is 6.8 nanofarad is used for your you know like 0.82 millisecond of uh, delay or millisecond of soft start time and 22 nanofarad will come up for 2.2 millisecond of soft start time so this is a very good understanding or very good uh, recommendation for your soft start timing hope you have a good idea about uh, this particular understanding now let's move back to the next one what is the output voltage regulation so output voltage regulation what we have to do is we have to calculate the r top and we have to calculate r bottom so r top you can calculate by this formula which is 227 divided by fc multiplied by c out selected so c out selected will be let us say we have uh, you know like c out as 20 microfarad then selection we can do little bit higher of that which can be you know like uh, 120 percent of that or maybe 150 percent of that generally we take it twice or thrice or something like that whatever the value that was calculated okay so with that uh, we are we have already feedback voltage as 0.6 volt so r top is getting calculated to be 170 kilo ohm so r top either you can keep it this value or little bit higher value of that so let's say a selected value we are going to put as 200 kilo ohm so accordingly our bottom value will be calculated to be around 27 kilo ohm or 28 kilo ohm okay so that's the reason uh, you can use this uh, 200 kilo ohm and 27.4 kilo ohm suppose let us say you want to change this value to be uh, you know like a 220 kilo ohm in that case this can be utilized to be 30 kilo ohm or 30.1 kilo ohm you can utilize okay so what you can do let's say if you want to change this value to 220 kilo ohm this will be changed to 30.1 kilo ohm okay so this is what this 30.1 is a uh, you know like a standard value 30 is not a standard value so that's the reason you can utilize these two values to have a regulated value of 5 volt at the output okay now coming back to the next part which is power loss so what is the power loss that will be you know like across the part, um, IC so they have told uh, thermal resistance uh, from junction to ambient is 38 degree centigrade per watt so for one watt of power uh, dissipation across the IC there will be an increment of 38 degree centigrade in the temperature okay let us say the ambient temperature we have is around like uh, my environment temperature where the IC is working is 25 degree centigrade and efficiency let us say we are considering 90 percent which is 0.9 so output power that will be calculated to be 10 watt why because we have the output voltage as 5 volt multiplied by the output current was 2 ampere so that is total 10 watt so 10 watt is the output power that we are using okay let us say the dc resistance of the uh, inductor that was chosen is 120 uh, you know like milli ohms if you want you can have little bit lower also let us say 12 milli ohms or something like that okay so <coughs> let's say 120 milli ohms we are keeping it so the power loss that will be calculated using this particular formula which is p out multiplied by 1 by eta minus 1 minus i out square multiplied by i r d c r so r d c r is nothing but the resistance of the dc resistance of the inductor that has been selected so with that we are seeing that power loss is getting calculated to be 0.63 watt okay if you want you can reduce the number of decimals so it will be seen proper okay okay so 0.63 watt that is coming so what is the temperature rise with this loss that will be coming up is around 24 degree centigrade okay so 24 degree centigrade we have seen the temperature rise and if you want to calculate what is the junction temperature of the IC in this case so that will be uh, temperature of environment that is ambient temperature plus the temperature rise so that is coming to be 48 or 49 degree centigrade so 49 degree centigrade will be the temperature that will be seen uh, at the you know like uh, IC when you utilize this particular functionalities okay so this was all about uh, this particular design so we can uh, we have completed our you know like inductor design our feedback resistor design our C output design and then C input design okay also we have calculated our soft start capacitor for our soft start timing which was set to let us say 2.2 millisecond 
some other parameters uh, as I told you for switching frequency you can add a resistor here so in your design always keep a resistor provision uh, for 0603 package and keep it not used okay so later on if you want to change the frequency uh, like switching frequency you can always have a provision to put a resistor here okay so that is a good uh, practice to design your circuit now mode setting so mode setting there are two modes one is DCM mode that is discontinuous mode one is PWM mode okay so we are working with let us say PWM mode then you have to ground this particular mode pin okay if you want to work it uh, in uh, DCM mode then you have to uh, make it high or <coughs> pull it up to the uh, VCC pin okay so you can connect it to VCC directly from here to here okay so that will be more than enough coming back to VCC regulator so VCC was there which has to be you know like grounded with a 2.2 microfarad capacitor so you, you attach one 2.2 microfarad capacitor here ratings you can keep it more than 16 you know like around 16 volt that is more than enough okay because VCC is actually 1.8 volt so uh, more than 1.8 volt that is around 6 volt or something will also do so 6.3 volt rating will also do for this particular uh, capacitor but uh, general utilization is like 10 volt or 16 volt so you can use that particular value okay now we have uh, power ground we have signal ground like uh, SGND is here okay and later on SGND and power ground both has to be sorted so this is the reason they have been sorted with your exposed pad okay now very important is we have the boost bootstrap capacitor so bootstrap capacitor you have to utilize 1.1 uh, microfarad capacitor to the LX pin okay so this is another understanding coming back to the external VCC pin so since my output in the pin output voltage is more than 3 point uh, you know like more than 2.5 volt or more than 2.44 volt okay so this external VCC can be connected to this particular V out that is your 5 volt okay so what will happen is the internal VCC will be bypassed and this external VCC will take over so that uh, the efficiency can increase higher and what we have to do is we have to connect one 4.7 microfarad capacitor with 0.1 microfarad capacitor that is nothing but an RC filter okay so it will give you uh, you know like protection from your short circuited load or something like that so if load my uh, my load gets short circuited or we you know like it has open or short circuit condition then this can be saved like will be safe from that okay so external VCC is also done the only thing that was remaining is enable pin connection so let us say we don't want to use any under voltage lockout condition or something like that we have our proper input voltage so we can directly connect this enable pin to the input voltage that is more than enough so this is a complete design of our 12 volt to 5 5 volt 2 ampere uh, you know like a current rating capabilities okay and if you want you can you know like utilize this particular uh, part number for your inductor which is going to be 15 micro henry and rest others we have already you know like chosen lot of capacitors and <coughs> lot of other designs so if you do have any particular questions regarding this particular design uh, you can put down your questions in the comment box and we shall be able to give you exact answers <coughs> we have two more application but I'm not going to explain you same formula and same formula sheet you can utilize to set the uh, you know like feedback resistance values then uh, inductor value calculation you can set up your uh, soft start timing whichever is needed similar to that we have C input capacitor we have C output capacitor okay that you can change it if you want it you have external VCC settings and all those things so that all this is very simple design so for 3.3 volt just the design will be feedback resistor settings okay so if you quickly do that uh, let us say for 3.3 volt output what will be the change so I'll just change the output voltage to uh, let us say 3.3 volt then you can see my resistor setting is changing to uh, where is my R top and R bottom so R top is 112 kilo ohm and R bottom is coming to be let us say I change to 120 kilo ohm okay so in that case 26 kilo ohm will come okay so since R top was calculated to be 112 but I am setting the value of 120 so in that case 26.6 kilo ohm is coming okay so you can see R top is 133 it is used so you will get 29.4 kilo ohm okay so let us say 133 if you put then it will get 29.6 kilo ohm okay 
so 120 is more than enough like you can utilize 27 kilo ohm as well and accordingly you can see the <coughs> temperature uh, rise will be how much just 9 degree centigrade and in that case the junction temperature will be 34 degree centigrade if you have a 90 percent of efficiency okay so actually p output was less because it is 3.3 volt so 6.6 vo watt was the output so that's the reason uh, the temperature rise of this particular IC is very less which is just 9 degree centigrade so good hope you have a very good understanding about you know like let us say 12 volt to 3.3 volt output also with 2 ampere rating or 2.4 amperes rating accordingly a little bit increment will be there in the uh, inductance value and as well as the you know like uh, C output capacitor value similar to that for other you know like a frequency setting or something like that you can utilize your switching frequency resistor which is RT pin resistor and accordingly your inductor value will change so as you can see uh, it, ha it has been used with uh, uh, what is the frequency setting for this 1 megahertz earlier it was working with 500 kilohertz so for 1 megahertz your inductor value will ha has increased from uh, has decreased from 15 uh, micro henry to 8.2 micro henry okay rest other values will remain almost same so <coughs> that's the understanding so good uh, now I hope like uh, with these three examples like I have given you three data sheets of switching regulator in this particular session which is uh, 073A2 e, uh, you know like B C D E series okay so F series so all these six videos will give you a complete understanding about what is the switching regulator and how we, what are the parameters that we should we should choose from the data sheet and uh, what are the information that we should take up while designing a particular uh, circuit okay so if you if you follow these principles then you will be able to uh, you know like design your circuits very easily and you will not be having any problem at all for your designs okay so all right guys thank you so much